Well, a spike in numbers always occurs when you begin to look for a disease actively. And what was occurring at the start was that the disease was reported when it came into the hospital, and then they developed what's called a case definition, which was a definition which called for people to only be reported if they had pneumonia. We now know that people don't always have pneumonia. In fact, some people are very mildly ill. And China has actually changed its definition, so it's now including those people. So they're finding many, many more people with less serious disease than they did in the past. The real money is to look on what's occurring outside of China, to see how easily this transmits to contacts, and to see what the actual history of infection is. So although China continues to report an increase in cases, and China has um, quite a bit of, of um, confusion within the country in certain areas, what's most important is now to focus on those cases outside China. The Africa Center for Disease Control in Addis Ababa and the Nigeria Center for Disease Control have been very concerned about the fact that this disease might come into Africa because there's such close connection with China. There have actually been diagnostic test kits developed by laboratories in the north, in UK here, in the US, in Germany, and other countries that are being provided to Africa laboratories so that they can diagnose the disease should it come. And there's actually a workshop in Dakar in Senegal next week where all laboratories have been invited to learn the most important techniques on diagnosis. So Africa is preparing very well for this as they have not done so well in other outbreaks. At the start of an outbreak such as this, the most important thing is to use precautionary measures, envisioning the most difficult scenario to deal with. And that's what countries are doing. The potential of this virus is not yet known. Countries are using measures that are, in many ways, um, not the measures they will use if they find it's a less transmissible disease than they fear.